Welcome class to uh, World Civ 106. This is the class that I've been teaching the longest um, for MJC. Um, in the past, I taught this strictly in a face-to-face -face class. Um, and it's also one in which I have a tremendous, tremendous passion for. And I always look forward to teaching it. This is a late start, and I'll be honest, I didn't have a choice in that. I don't get to pick whether or not something should be a late start. Um, I don't want to actually talk a mess on it. All I can say is that I don't like late starts because it's cramming. It's, it becomes a somewhat of a cram course. Um, I'm glad to teach it. I'm appreciative. Um, but we're already covering quite a bit of information in a short amount of time. And when I have to cram in certain weeks even more, um, to me, it's just a week that most likely you will retain less information than you would have. So then what's, I just, well, I'm not the, uh, uh, dictator of America yet. So, um, you know, I have to actually follow other people's ideas and, um, whatever. So this is what we do. So we're going to take it from a positive perspective. And what I want to say is this. I already understand that we have a survey course where we are covering massive amounts of culture and history and information in a very short amount of time. So regardless of whether we actually like stretched out this class to longer or we even condense it to a shorter time. I have taught this in a cram course for a summer class where it's like almost like a month and that's even more so. Um, so uh, we get through it and we still learn a lot. So what I want you to do is to realize is that one, yes, you're, st you're taking a late start and that means that uh, you're going to have to do extra work during the week. Uh, some weeks will be not as much and others will be like doubled up and you just have to understand that that's what you got yourself involved in. That's what we all did to, uh, for this, okay? So you need to make sure that you're 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 ba budgeting your time and you're balancing your time out. For some reason, I get a lot of students who start this class. You know, it starts a month later, and they don't realize that um, we I'm still required to teach all the information of a normal semester, but just with us having to cram in more information. Uh, so I'm going to be ending this class in the same place that I would have ended it, uh, covering the same amount of information if we would have just started um, on time. Like, I mean, with the, with the beginning of the semester, okay? So just get in here. Get in here, be positive, and um, realize this, that I have a very consistent schedule. Um, I take it easy on you guys a little bit more in the first week or two until you get used to it. In regards to the textbook, I need to say something. I'm coming up with some textbook issues that are beyond, it's not the bookstore's fault. It's, it's not my fault, but I, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the textbook companies and what they're thinking that I should buy or not buy. And that's a whole other topic that's kind of frustrating me right now. Um, but just to say that the textbook is a tremendous, I think, aid for many of you in this class, but you can get by quite a bit without it. So um, I don't know, if, if for whatever reason you have not been able to get a textbook and you can't, and simultaneously you really feel like you need it to help you out with these assignments then um you know I'll, i will want you to contact me okay here's the thing i want to address when there's any kind of problem i'm going to work with you where i get impatient and it starts becoming a little less um i feel less motivated <laughs> to be go out of my way and bend my bend over backwards for you is when you, you tell me that you, you know, when someone says to me like almost a month in, Mr. Pollock, uh, the reason why I'm having problems is because I don't have a textbook. It's not in yet. And I'm having such a problem getting a textbook. And I'm just like, you waited a month to tell me this? A month? Right? Okay. It starts to become, okay. But when you're telling me, in, you know, while, while this is going forward, Mr. Pollock, the first two weeks I tried my best. I really feel like I need the book. The book hasn't come. Then I, oh my goodness. Then I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm really motivated. Hey, what's going on? And, and I, I, you know, we'll, we'll work together. So, so I want you to realize that I'm a professor that will help you out with almost anything that you need. And I will go out of my way, 
but I need you to do your part and I need you to be more proactive with your own self and not put things off. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Contact me as soon as possible when there's problems. I am busy as well. Um, I've been a single dad most of my adult life. My daughter's 19 now and doesn't live with me anymore. Um, uh, by her choice to go, you know, try the adult world uh, living. Um, but I but I understand the struggle of single parenting. Parenting. Uh, juggling different sets of priorities. I also have to work another job. So there's all these things that I get about, like, real world, you know, just life problems the struggle is real as they say right like it is um and it's 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 harder for some others right so i have a lot of students some are in the military some are active some are kind of trying to just kind of decompress from 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 service um i have uh many times fire you know I, i've had some firemen i had a fireman uh, uh, a fire person with five kids trying to juggle so many things, you know. When when parents come to me, uh, or or just anybody comes to me and says they got some issues, I'm going to try to help you. I want to say that you don't have to try to explain your whole personal life to me. I kind of take it on faith. I just, you know, I I can't try. You know, some people lie, and it's not my judge to try to like judge who's lying. If you tell me that you have a problem during the week and that this has made it a struggle for you to get your work done on time. I'm just going to under, I'm just going to believe you that this is that you are in this state. You can tell me more if you want, but it's not you know I'm I'm not going to judge too much. Now, when you have a chronic set of problems, then we just have to address you know how realistic is it for you to stay in my class or what are the real problems that you need to deal with and blah blah blah. Okay, so then it's a little bit different. So this is kind of my approach that I hope you're seeing. Um, uh, um, and then I just to say this okay so so the subject matter I will put out more videos as we get closer in and I'm gonna post the syllabus in the next uh, uh, um, sometime this week I need to fix it up a little bit that's why I don't have a published posted right now we're gonna be focusing on world religions because I think that that's the, uh, something that you guys can grasp onto if you're very religious or you're an atheist or whatever your views are you have views on religion this to me is a much more interesting way to approach all these ancient civilizations than let's say talking about their various uh agricultural dilemmas and um you know the war thing you know w w wars are the normal phase of human history that's a tragedy that we will talk about but um it's easy enough to say this country beat up this country and this they did this terrible thing to each other and blah 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 and here we are and then you know somebody um you know had an agricultural revolution and that's cool whatever right so those, those are all important things but but what can i bring to the table for you to walk away and say wow i really understand something new and something that will help me in a perspective about the world right and so um, we're not we're not doing a critique of religion. We're not having a discussion of its validity, or uh, making moral judgments about what uh, we're learning. We are taking in information to give us an understanding of facts on the ground that will help us give some sort of way to connect to having a picture of a given civilization. That's my approach to this, and there's some, there are some limitations to this somewhat which I end up going into a discussion about in the class. But I think that, that many of you will find this, this, this empowers you, regardless if you are a very strict adherent to one particular faith or that, that you've never even had an interest in the topic at all. Um, I think that you'll walk away going, you will learn about Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Zoroastrianism, Taoism, Confucianism, and more, and some of the uh, Aztec and Mayan uh, Maya uh, beliefs. That, like you, you will learn a lot. And most of my students come away from this class actually having a decent grasp on these things, and and, and in a way that they really, you know. So, anyways, enough of that. Uh, I look forward to having you all in my class, 
and um, I think we'll have a great s semester. We're just going to have to deal with the fact that some weeks we're going to have to put a little bit more work and that we're going to have to, you know, learn a lot more information in one week um, than a regular semester. Okay, so that's it. Um, any kind of questions, problems, or issues, please contact me. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I would prefer that you write me on Canvas or you can uh, call me. And if you call me and um, you can't leave a message, then text me. And then when I get a chance at work, I'll try to call you back as soon as prob possible with your issues. Quickly to say, I don't normally give out my number and encourage texting in a face-to-face -face class. That would be kind of a weird ethical, th I don't know, that would be weird like if, I, if I was in a face-to-face -face class. But I think for an online, when I have over 140 students and people need immediate answers and I'm already out and about, I'm just trying to make myself as accessible to give you quick answers to, to solving your problems, okay? So that's just, just to make that very clear. Um, all right, so everybody uh, will be in touch, and I hope you're having a wonderful uh, week uh, coming in as you get ready to start the class soon.